What's going on guys, FJ Eric here. So I'm not as far off the main path as um, I wanted to be, but I did get a little muddy, so trails are cool. But I am gonna start cooking though, because I'm starving. The only thing I'm worried about is, may not have enough of this propane. Um, I literally went everywhere before this trip, trying to find it. Went to three different Walmarts, a $1 General, a Dick's Sporting Goods, Target, and literally everybody was sold out of that. So I do have a backup plan, but I really don't want to use that backup plan. Um, but anyways, I'm going to grab a jacket because it is gotten a little chilly up here. These drawers are the newest addition to the FJ. My buddy John built these for me. Um, I'll put the link up top and in the description but they've got the heavy duty lock and slides on there and they come all the way out just like that come all the way in uh, we built this fridge slide tilt not quite finished with it yet uh, but it will come out right in here and then it's going to tilt down for me i've got all my recovery gear and this bottom one down here i'll show you how the stove works So this is really gonna help me out a lot. I just have this light kind of rigged up right now. Um, I'm gonna actually do like a strip and stuff, that way it lights up the whole thing. But one thing I have not tested yet, which I'm super excited, is this stove now that we've kind of um, took it all apart, put it on here. We left the back of this drawer open so um, you could put this propane adapter. Right now I do just have the one pounder but I will be getting a big five pound. Uh, I'll keep somewhere and then I'll just be able to run the hose uh, from behind the stove um, to that tank. So that's going to be a lot easier. But like I said, as far as seeing if this is even going to fit, I'm going to find out right now. All right, cool. I bet that holds. So in this top drawer, that's where I'm going to keep all my pots and pans and stuff. And if you remember, I had this, um, I had two nets right here on the door. I had to take this top one off um, to get the door to close. But for this bottom one for right now, that's where I'm gonna have all my spices and um, stuff like that. Spoon, spatula. But I'm super stoked to try all this stuff out. This top piece is actually a cutting board and we've got soft hinges on it. So that's where I'll be doing all the cutting and everything else, tabletop, whatever else I need. Um, I was started loading these back up yesterday and realized that the only thing that I forgot was my camp chair again. So there is a log right behind you that I'll probably use. But it's just funny because I always forget something. And I forgot the adapter to the propane. I forgot my stool and camp chair and stuff. Oh, actually, I forgot my hoodie. All right, so I'm missing one stake for the very front. And I cannot find my cheese for the grilled cheese. So tonight I plan on having rice, zucchini, shrimp. And once that locks, you know, I'll be able to hold this up, but <laughs> for right now, just using my head. This is actually a lay stack can that I keep my rice in. Even at the house, like, it just works so well for me. Not sure where I want to put my trash can yet. None of this is really going to take that long to cook.
when I was at the grocery store earlier, I didn't even think about breakfast in the morning, so I have no clue what I'll do for that, or even if I'll eat breakfast. I got cheese. So I guess I'm just gonna throw it all in this bowl. I didn't bring any plates. This cast iron is gonna be way too hot. Yeah, it's it's hot. It's hot, hot. Even with the even with the shirt. Really, I'm just kind of waiting on that cheese in there to melt. But I always throw a little bit of hot sauce in there. Some Cajun. I think this is Cajun. <coughs> yeah, it's Cajun. And then I've got a lemon. Pretty good. I feel like I haven't camped in forever. And I didn't bring any firewood because I figured it wouldn't be cold cold enough for that. It's really not though. This feels pretty dry though. I may try burning this later. All right, so while I was cleaning everything up, uh, I just remembered that I got these LED headlights um, to try out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do real fast. Is put those in and just see if there's a difference or if there isn't. Okay, so real fast, these are the stock headlights. They are not bright at all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't even see that far. Um, that's why I always leave my fogs on. I'm not sure how heavy these solar panels are, but with this being on the hood, it really needs something to help prop it up. Uh, just because of the weight. So I mean like right now if I were to let go of it, it would go all the way down. So I use this little locking pliers to hold it up. Alright, it's so muddy under here. Alright, so this is what the new headlights look like. Being the LED. And that's what the old ones look like. And I have you I have bought the more expensive ones. They look like this, but they have the blue tip. Um, I can tell a slight difference, but the dude at O'Reilly's said that I'll note a huge difference just replacing this one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can tell a huge difference just with that one. Yeah, see, this one's, this one right here is so much brighter already. This one's hot. So this is the other one, the blue one that I was talking about that I had gotten. Which, I mean, I'm gonna save both of these just in case, you know, it goes out, but supposedly it's supposed to last a little bit longer, but we'll see. Yeah, I can tell a huge difference, so very happy with these. Um, I actually got these on Amazon too, so I will put the link in the description so you can have some bright headlights as well. I really was just looking for something that would still be bright. Um, that way I could keep, because I really like the stock headlight look of the FJ. So, yeah, I mean, this, I can already tell a world of difference.
probably just read tonight since uh, I'm not sitting by the fire or nothing. Right now I'm reading Walden um, on wheels. If you've read like the original Walden, then you know who that is about the dude way back in like the 1800s who um, like lived off in the woods for a few years by himself. So it's pretty neat. And this one right here is just about a dude that um, was in de like college debt, you know, and bought a van, started living out of it, like on campus, and then went and started traveling. So I, I, I'm probably, I think I'm only like three chapters in, so I don't know too much about it right now, but it's been pretty good so far though, for real, if y'all want to check that out. I know this was just like a quick trip for me, um, just because I feel like I haven't been outside in forever. Um, just been working on the drawers every weekend, you know, so I don't know, it's good. But it feels good to be back in the tent, though, for real. And the more I think about it, I'm probably not going to make anything for breakfast, uh, just because I don't have anything. <laughs> My next trip should be somewhere a little bit further out of town, so just stay tuned for that. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see y'all next time.